that called for all this is going to go to jail, or will it be found out that he's a federal informant? Like Hal Turner, or like Tom McVeigh, Tim McVeigh. Will it come out he's CIA, like Lee Harvey Oswald? That's now been declassified. Hmm? We're going to cover all this. Tis is the season. They're passing all these unconstitutional, unpopular, illegal things. They're going to stage events and provocateur events to turn it around against us. And the media is going to blame yours truly, their number one enemy now. Pray for us. But it's because we're effective that this is happening. This is a blessing, actually. All right, here I am being interviewed by the producers. They're asking questions. Again, if you just joined us, there's no audio from this. We shot this with a flip phone in the studio. I'm in Austin. They're in New York, Anderson Cooper, and they just keep saying, are you causing the violence? Are you causing the violence? And, I, I mean, think about it. you got CNN, who was the biggest group, along with Fox, pushing WMDs in Iraq, and they knew it wasn't true. It's come out the Pentagon and CIA literally run CNN. They just pose as liberals to cover up what they're doing. It's left-right manipulation. And it's angry to me to have these people that go to their cocktail parties and feel like they're great liberals when they're really a bunch of propagandists helping to destroy our country and pushing the banker bailout takeover and the carbon taxes. I mean, these are really despicable people. I'm angry at them. They're destroying my country. They're taking my freedom. They're aiding and abetting the corporations that own them. And it makes me angry that they're there trying to imply I'm bad and I'm evil. And they're going along with this talking point that I'm basically a terrorist. Here it is. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Distrusting oh, your government, hating... Back it up. As soon as I heard that, I remember this question. They said, there's a new term called hatriots. Uh, what do you think of the term hatriots? And are you a hatriot? And here is my response. Oh, absolutely. Uh, distrusting your government, hating despotism and corruption is as American as apple pie. I mean, if you read George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, I absolutely hate it when the cops shoot a handcuffed youth in the back and then cover it up. I absolutely hate it when trillions of dollars are stolen in the banker bailout and then the Federal Reserve won't tell us where the money went. I love my country. I love my Constitution. I love my Republic. But I hate and fear the corrupt foreign corporate interests that have hijacked our nation and are using the government as a tool to loot and suck our country dry like Argentina or Nigeria or Greece. And so absolutely, I hate Hitler, I hate Stalin, I hate Mao, I hate Fidel Castro, I hate Pol Pot, I hate all despots, and by any historical yardstick, America is sliding quickly into full-bore, scientific, 21st century tyranny. And you better believe I hate seeing my country where I have three children being destroyed and bankrupted by design. And watching Herman Von Rupi, the head of the EU, and Ban Ki-moon, the head of the UN, and Gordon Brown, the Prime Minister of England, all say global government is here run by banks, and they're going to levy carbon taxes on it. And then mainstream news runs pieces saying we're crazy, world government doesn't exist. You guys still think you've got the people bamboozled and conned. You don't. They see the world leaders calling for world government and then they see you saying it doesn't exist and that's why you're losing all credibility so keep pushing it because the american people are awake cnn and fox and msnbc and all of you who who sit there on the perches of the false left right paradigm with this false debate going on where you try to sucker people in to your false reality it's over the people are awake and the new world order needs to back off and realize they should cut their losses now because the awakening is on what I said was, Denver Post, we know Democrats have staged attacks on their own facility. Back that up a few seconds uh, so that question makes sense for people. Then the, the interviewer says, oh, so you think this is all fake. You think this is all staged. And I said, no, the Denver Post reported. Remember last Friday I showed you the Denver Post. AP, a bunch of other articles where Democrats have staged attacks on their own offices all over the country. That was just one example. And so, again, they were trying to ignore the fact that I was showing them a mainstream admission and arrest that had been made. 
And they were trying to basically change the subject. Continue. Order needs to back off and realize they should cut their losses now because the awakening is on. What I said was, Denver Post, we know Democrats have staged attacks on their own facilities as part of a frame-up before, and I believe a lot of this is exaggerated and hasn't happened. Sure, 300 million people in the nation, a lot of them angry, you better believe some real things may happen. But I know nine times out of the ten when I've studied these things, it's been admitted that it was a staged event. So again, my rhetoric is the truth and is waking people up. Justice be done, may the heavens fall. Okay? That's like criticizing people in Germany that were criticizing Hitler, saying, are you causing the brown shirts to go out and beat people up? There's a lot more government violence and IRS thugs coming with guns to take people's houses than there are people throwing bricks through windows, and most of that's probably staged. Well, I was told by some of your producers that this piece is also about, uh, you know, why are our congressmen coming on my show? I mean, they can go on anybody's show they want. They don't have to agree with me or disagree uh, to be able to come on my radio show. And what I've seen the mainstream media, the dying dinosaur media do, is attempt to uh, condition uh, the uh, public uh, th that it's not acceptable for different political groups and organizations to associate with each other. And that's another attempt by the establishment control corporate media to set the parameters of debate and to attack congressmen who have come on my radio show. This has been done over and over and over again uh, because the establishment uh, it, uh, knows that the true populist message of freedom and liberty and smaller government is resonating and so they're attempting to paint it as radical uh, so that uh, more uh, mainline Americans don't join it. But that's already happened. The American people are in the process of waking up right now and a lot of congressmen come on my radio show to promote uh, different legislation they're pushing like auditing the Fed uh, or to uh, tell us about uh, you know, things that are happening in Congress and the reason we have congressmen on the show is so that uh, they can give us an inside view on what's happening in the Capitol. Same reason you interview congressmen. Well, that's a ridiculous oversimplification. Uh, there are probably 15 or 20 members of the Congress that I do support who, who are constitutionalists. I'm not opposed to all government. I'm not an anarchist. Uh, and I've had Hit Congress, pause. Uh, Back up about five seconds. That question was, well, if all government's bad and you're for zero government and you hate all the Congress people, why do you have them on your show? Now, this is sophomoric. This is fifth grade level. But it's designed for the dumbed down public that still gets their news from CNN. And I said, that's ridiculous. There are 15 or more people that are good in Congress, but I would interview people I disagree with as well. See, it's this idea that congressmen are coming on the alternative media. Because they told me Ron Paul refused to be on this show their program, and so did other congressmen. And CNN, when we had Gomer on, attacked him for several weeks off and on, on Nut of the Week and Kook of the Week, or uh, those different specials they have. What's it called? Uh, nut, wing Nut of the Week, yeah. Uh, and, uh, again, don't go on Alex's show. Don't give him credibility. Don't, don't, don't. It's the information that has the credibility. These congressmen know where the audience is. And it's so sophomoric when during the campaign they'd ask Ron Paul, why do you go on Alex Jones' show on Fox, CNN, everywhere? And they're also trying to, at a primitive level, break us up thinking that if they don't come on my show, I'm not going to support them. I'd support Ron Paul if he came on the show or not. Ron Paul's been on this show probably close to 100 times the last 14 years. I've been interviewing him every month or month and a half. In the last six, seven years, before that, two, three times a year. I mean, how many times is that? 60 times, 70 times? I, I don't know. Interviewed him a couple times on video. I mean, it's just, it, it's just sophomoric mind control. Let's finish it up. You are constitutionalist. I'm not opposed to all government. I'm not an anarchist. Uh, and I've had Congress um, men and women on who I disagree with. Uh, so it's ridiculous. I don't say they're all crooks, but the leadership, by and large, are bought and paid for, and many of them are crooks and are doing things that are illegal and unconstitutional. 
You bet, guys. Take care of yourselves. And I, 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 let me just add one more thing. I dare you to put this on television. I want to say hi to the little blue blood Aster Anderson Cooper. And I want to say hi. He admittedly was CIA. And I want to ask Anderson, hey, cover why CNN and BBC reported Building 7 fell 25 minutes before it fell with total precision. Oh, you guys announced that little script a little early, didn't you?